Hello, Gary Simon at designcourse.com. Today we're going to finish up in Blender and then step into Photoshop to add some final touches and uh, to the scene and just uh, make it look a little bit more interesting. All right, so check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, so there were a couple things that I experimented with and I want to change up the node uh, structure for this main texture right here, uh, the biggest part of our model. So what I'm going to do is just zoom up here just so we can get a better look at what's going on. All right, so the first thing I want to do is switch the diffuse and this anseotropic, I think that's how it's pronounced. I never heard anybody <laughs> pronounce it yet, so I'm just going off my own whim. Uh, I want to switch both of these, just reverse them. So control left click. Oh, and uh, do I have my screencast keys up? It doesn't look like it. Let me go. Let me. All right, there they are. All right, so let me go ahead and, yeah. So I wasn't really happy again with uh, how, how the material was presented. We couldn't really see the image texture at all. So what we're gonna do is just change these up a little bit. So control, left click, and we severed those. So now let's just switch both of these. And we're gonna move this one to the bottom shader. And this diffuse is gonna go here to the top. Now we're going to change this. To, now we have two diffuses, which doesn't make sense. So what we'll do is just delete this one, shift A, and I want it to be a lot shinier than it was. So we're going to add a shader, glossy, and connect that up. All right. So also I want to reverse the position um, of these two. So the mix shader needs to go on the bottom here. So if I just take control, left click both of those, stick this on the top one and revert this reverse those. Uh, 0 0.227 will work for this. Uh, over here, I'm gonna make this kind of like a blue, a dollar blue color. Right around there will work. Uh, 0. Point, I'm gonna change this to 0 0.15. We can leave this at 0. 0.5 and all the rest same. I'm gonna change this from 0. 0.2 to 0. 0.1. And again, I did this through experimenting, so there's no, you know, whenever, whatever this looks, this view looks like up of here when you render it, uh, that's the part of experimenting, basically. So you can see it's already a lot more glossy. Uh, so up here uh, is where we want to connect our image texture. All right, so roughness is zero. All right, so this. FAC value, we want it to be 0.5. That way we see the texture more. All right, so I'm going to leave that 0.5. All right, and that looks pretty good for now. So there's some other adjustments I want to make. Now I'm just going to pull this down real quick. Real quickly, I'm going to take this outer container, right click it, I'm going to hit S4, or SX4 rather, X and then 4, just to make it wider. All right. Just like that. And also, these little lights, these pixels that are showing up, I want to real quickly come over here to the render settings. We're going to make this zero. For the direct and the indirect, I'm going to make it 0.13. And we can see that seems to do a better job. And then also, we're going to come over here to the world setting. Just make this black again. All right. So I'm going to hit zero to get out of that view. And hit five on the number pad. And then we lose everything. Let's go back to solid. There we go. Right around there. All right. Go back to rendered. Okay, so that's looking pretty good for now. Um, is switch over to solid mode and make everything, um, everything that we're about to replicate at least, a part of the same uh, object. So we're just going to be joining objects here. So the way I'm going to do this is 
I'm gonna hit A and then B and then just select everything here and we want to make sure we can deselect uh, the portions that we don't want to be duplicated or replicated rather so just I uh, all you have to do is shift right click uh, a B I'm gonna do that again shift right click this portion we don't want this sorry I screwed that up again B select everything all right shift and right click you may have to do it twice to deselect that and over here we don't want this big beam portion and for some reason it was only deselecting if I just did it out here so and then we want to deselect the area light and that is right here oops And if it's doing that, you just hit shift and area right here. All right, so now we have all of our lights and our object here selected. And what we wanna do is just duplicate this. So shift D, enter, and then move it down. And we'll do it a few more times. Shifty enter. I'm gonna hide real quick our cylinder. I think it's seven. There it is. For me, it was uh, five. And Shifty enter. Shifty enter. I think right around there is fine. Bring back our cylinder right there. All right, so I'm gonna hit zero. And For some reason, I think it has to do with the length of everything. If I use my scroll wheel, it's like going up way too high. Uh, there we go. If you hit control and then the middle mouse button, you get finer control on that if you're facing that same issue. I want to adjust this so that... Yeah, we'll see right around there. I'll see what this looks like at the rendered view. And I may turn it just a little bit. Maybe right around there. Maybe a little bit more. I'm trying to make sure this edge kind of just cuts off over there. All right. And I think that looks pretty decent in and of itself. All right, so now what I want to do is switch over here to the render section. And I have my render at 800. I think I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to render it at a resolution of 1280 by 720. Make sure this is at 100%. And yeah, this should be good to go. So I. Uh, under performance, if you're using GPU, you can change the tiles to 256 by 256. And we'll go ahead and hit render. So this may take a while, so I'm going to pause until it is finished. All right, and there's the image. So what I want to do now is we want to save this. So just hit F3, and I'm going to name this uh, just actual show.png save as image and then we're going to step into Photoshop and one second let me get that brought over to the screen right here alright and so now we want to open that image alright and this is the full size so if I uh, zoom out here we can see everything alright so this step obviously is optional. Um, you don't really necessarily have to do this, but uh, 
this is just a fun way to, to come in and do in some additional work afterwards and uh, make it look a little bit more interesting. So uh, really, it's just a matter of experimenting with adjustment layers primarily. So if we click on adjustment layers over here, go to Windows Adjustments, uh, we can start playing around with some of the settings. So brightness and contrast, for instance, we can make it a little bit brighter. Maybe take the contrast down as well. All right. And we can also duplicate this layer. Right click and hit duplicate or I have a, um, a hotkey set up, control shift D, hit OK. Go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Maybe right around there, about 4.7 pixels. And real quickly, I'm going to take the eraser tool. I'm going to hide this background layer, or the original layer. And I'm going to start just removing almost everything outside of the laser beam portion, or whatever you want to call it. Now, there's probably a more there's a more efficient way of doing this in the compositor of Blender, but for now, I'm just going to use uh, Photoshop. And we can also change the layer blend mode, and we can create some interesting uh, looks on this. As you can see, just using the down arrow to experiment with these. And whatever you think works best, just go ahead with it. So I'm just going to go through this one more time. I think we're going to use color dodge. It seems to work. All right. And you can also kind of create sort of a an artificial. Um, now, again, this could have been done in Blender uh, through the camera settings. Uh, by adding focus, but you can add sort of like an artificial focus on this if you wish. And the way you can do that, actually before I do that, I want to make a few other adjustments. Uh, you can still really play around with the these other um, photo filter, for instance, these other adjustment layers. Uh, you can see how this this, these different filters will affect the appearance. So if you use your down arrow key, you can go through these. And if there's something that you like, you can decide, you can go ahead and use that. Uh, you can also specify color in which you can see it's very subtle the way it affects everything. But that's up for you to decide if that's an improvement or not. I'm not going to use it. In the other one I did, but I, and I'm, I'm not going to use it for this one. So, uh, so now what I want to do, uh, I think I'll go ahead and create that that blur effect coming over here. So, uh, what I want to do is real quickly, I'm just going to group these layers and duplicate them. I'm going to merge this top one and hide the bottom one, and you can use the blur tool, make it like a larger, maybe 1200. And the strength is right now at 100 and you'll see how that kind of works if you just left click and hold a little bit. Uh, you probably want it to be a little bit more subtle of an effect. Uh, so you can see if I just click a couple times that's probably most ideal. That way it doesn't become exaggerated, the view of it. All right. So this is at 100%. And looks pretty cool. So I'm going to consider that a complete render. It's a little bit different, though pretty similar to um, the original that I showed at the beginning of the first video. But yeah, that is it. Hopefully you learned a lot. Um, subscribe here at YouTube if you haven't, and check out designcores.com for more tutorials. All right, I'll see you later. Goodbye.